Story 1. Long 1. TLDR. Found out wife lied about things from before marriage involving people she got close to while we're together but acted on while we were apart. I, male, 24, met my wife, female, 24, when we were both 17. Again, we had went to school together since we were 5 to 13 but never really interacted before we met again at 17. We were friends for a while before we began to go out around 8 months later. This relationship was a first for both of us as neither had been with other people prior. Neither of us had even kissed another person until each other, and continued to be each other's first in terms of closeness. We flowed and got on very well together and had similar tastes, interests, upbringings, ideals etc. I'm an introverted reserved guy and she's a bubbly extrovert who loved conversation. In the beginning I had insecurities with her talking to other guys and messaging them etc., it's not something I understood given I didn't speak to people. This led to arguments, her hiding who she's talking to and me being paranoid etc. My reactions to these things were to blow it out of proportion and be aggressive as I felt betrayed. I understand is this situation I was wrong and was being possessive as I knew she liked to talk to people before we got into it. Anyways, we make it work and I work on those issues of insecurity while we were open and communicated about the issues and how we resolve them. Skip ahead nearly 7 years to make where things have been up and down since. We split and got back together a few times over the years, never for more than two thirds months apart at a time. We spoke near the entirety of the time we weren't actively together, not even totaling 30 days no contact in the past nearly 7 years, regardless of relationship status. Throughout this time I strongly felt she wasn't telling me everything about the past. This brings us to 2 weeks ago where we and having an argument, it wasn't about a person but it led to her going out late at night and returning early hours of morning. I didn't suspect her of actually going to see other guy but her lack of an answer made me suspicious. I seen a diary in the living room of hers that I got her when we started going out. I picked it up and began to read through it. I don't defend this action I know it was wrong and an invasion of privacy. I can't justify it. While reading I seen that after an argument we had and didn't speak for a day, she met with a guy I had issues with due to how she was talking to him and neglected to say she was taken and they kissed. She wrote she regretted it and then blocked him etc. We proceed to get back together a day or two later after she done this. This happened in 2017. Another thing I read is she sested and exchanged private photos with a guy in early 2018 that she also got close to when we were together. This happened after we had been apart for two thirds months but while we were still talking for the most part saying she was not doing these things. The guy in question is someone she went to uni with, when we got back together she frequently brought him up as a uni friend and said how he had helped her. I was obviously unaware of their prior relationship. Since 2018 he's been frequently mentioned and I even recommend her she speak to him for help at times. All of this on its own may not seem so back but all since all throughout our relationship I was used to her lying I frequently asked her if there was things I didn't know from our past whether we were together or not and all these years she looked into my eyes and said no. Even let me take her hand in marriage. Even on the day I call her to confront her after reading what I did, she hangs up on me and calls the guy she exchanged private photos with to ask if he had told me. She's continued to lie to me since I've learnt of this. So here I am. Not sure what to do. In one mind I feel like this was all years ago, what does it matter now when we can try fix it and move on given how much she has done for me since and how integrated I am in her family. I love her I really do. But, on the other I can't live in a marriage wondering what my wife isn't telling me. Thinking how I've only been private with her and how she lied to me looking into my eyes claiming the same. She betrayed our love and what made us special. Even if we were apart I don't understand how she can be speaking to me saying she hopes we get back together while doing these things. Either way I'm broken and lost. If you read this far I can only thank you for your time and, and if you skipped here I don't blame you. Edit, I should clarify we got married in 2019 when I thought I knew it all and was beginning to trust her again. I haven't caught her or found out anything from since we have been married. It led to her going out late at night and returning early hours of morning. I didn't suspect her of actually going to see other guy but her lack of an answer made me suspicious. Oof, what happened this night? You were suspicious all of those times because your gut was screaming that she was up to no good. Trust your gut brother, it was correct. Don't feel bad for snooping in her diary, 
If she wasn't a cheater and a liar you wouldn't have to. The fact that she sent a guy private photos while married to you and still mentions the dude as an important part of her life is truly ducked. Sorry you're dealing with this my friend. We got married in 2019. The private photos thing happened when we weren't together according to her anyway. Thank you for your kind words. Yes, she's manipulating these moments you weren't together so she can easily lie to herself and consider herself a good person. She's not, she's cheated multiple times and you deserve better. I keep losing sight of it given how anyone from her side, family and friends is backing up the claim she isn't a cheat and that we weren't together. Placing tut solution on both of us instead of seeing it from my side, which I get to be fair. I'm just glad I'm not insane for believing what I do in terms of her being a cheat and others are able to see this from my side. You're not insane. You have an entire group of people with her best intention in mind, gaslighting the living hell out of you. It would make anyone question their own sanity. Hang in there. You may want to consider posting your story on www.survivinginfidelity.com on the just found out boards, the members there can get you onto the right path to at least get out of infidelity. Hang in there my friend. The thing is she had a chance to come clean yet she lied to you again. It is not right to fool around when you guys have arguments. You can never ever trust a pathological liar. Please consider divorce. And move on. I believe it's the right thing to do. Story 2. Background, I, 20 female, am the second person my BF, 21 male, has dated. We have been dating a little over 1.5 years but have been friends slash friendly for about 7 years. We both have expressed wanting to get married once we finish school. But I know that will not be sustainable until I can get my current dilemma under control. We supposedly mutually had crushes on each other in high school but I don't really believe it. This is because when I admitted my crush to him via text as a teen, he responded with lol ok calm down verbatim. I remember because this was by far the most awkward moment of my life lol and I never shot my shot with someone again. I know that I probably made him feel awkward back then too with my admission. He says that he didn't remember that happening until I reminded him about it and that he feels really bad about it. I hardly spoke to him after my admission out of personal cringe slash embarrassment. We occasionally saw each other at our university during our freshman year and he would always approach me to say hi if I didn't succeed in running away and hiding as soon as I noticed him. We laugh about this now. This went on until he approached me in a store one day to ask me out during our sophomore year. I looked really raggedy that particular day, pajamas, unshowered for two days, greasy, period acne showing reminiscent of people of Walmart, etc., so it's not like I had a glow up to trigger him asking me out. In the time we drifted apart, he dated another girl and they broke up about two years in. This girl also went to our high school and university for a time so I know what she looks like. A few weeks after we started dating, he told me that he and his ex had broken up pretty recently before we starting seeing each other. Like recently enough that I personally would not have felt ready to date yet if I were in a similar situation. I know that all people get over relationships at different paces. But somehow hearing this information made me feel like a last resort person who he decided to date just because he didn't have his first plan anymore. Objectively I know that this is untrue. But insecurity's terrible and don't care about objective truth. My weird brain's dilemma, anyways, my BF is extremely in love with me and I know that. I know that he is extremely attracted to me and has never made me feel otherwise since we've reconnected. I know that they broke up for a reason and that he is with me for a reason. This isn't about me thinking that my BF finds me unattractive. So how do I stop feeling insecure despite all of this? His ex has a perfect hourglass and big chest slash bottom with a great nose and full lips. I have wide shoulders, no chest, no bottom, big nose, small lips, and moderate acne that never really goes away despite everything, even two rounds of Accutane. If I know all of these things about my relationship, why do I still find myself comparing my looks with her? Because of how soon we started dating after his past relationship ended, I sometimes get this sinking feeling that I was just a rebound or a consolation prize that he happened to actually like after a while. I know that there are many levels of beauty and attraction but the insecurities in me only ever fixate on the physical part of attraction. 
Does anyone have suggestions about how you can stop comparing yourself to an ex when you know you have a great relationship with someone who is completely attracted to you? I have mentioned this to BF casually before and don't want to bring this up with him again because 1. I know I sound slash am crazy, 2. This is a personal issue that he isn't contributing to or worsening in any way, he is very vocal about saying that I'm pretty multiple times per day unprovoked among other compliments and validation, and 3. He will say how he is attracted to me and is also attracted to more than my looks, which I know, and hearing this will not ease my insecurities about the way I look physically compared to her. I am not ugly, not at all, but by no means am I a model. Yet I feel like I am ugly when I think about what kind of woman he could have instead of me. Has anyone felt something similar to me and have advice about how to get over it? I would love to do therapy slash personal counseling for my insecurity problem but that is too expensive for a broke college student, even the cheaper ones through my university. Please help this young insecure woman if you can. TLD our current BF rejected me a long time ago and then asked me out soon after ending a relationship with a much prettier woman. My insecurities tell me that I was a rebound slash last resort slash consolation prize and I can't help but compare our physical looks only. Help! As a man, I don't believe he's looking at you like you're less pretty or not as good as he had. They broke up for a reason, as my father used to say, show me 10 hot girls and I'll show you 10 guys sick of her crap. Looks aren't everything, if he's with you, he sees something in you. Can't change the past so no point in stressing? let things fall as they may. You do know there's more to people than their looks, right? And if you were a rebound he would have moved on by now. A rebound is just the person you enjoy right after a breakup. You don't stay together for 1.5 years and talk marriage. My fiancé's ex was literally a model, I was the girl mistreated for being a dork in school, I had a bit of a glow up, but far from model material, I wasted far too much time, and too many tears being insecure of her. I wasn't born with perfect bone structure. And that's okay. I'm still pretty awesome. My fiancé thinks so too. And I regret the time I spent feeling bad about myself and my relationship over it. So please don't waste time, either smile. I totally agree with what Traveling Bride said. There's more to people than their looks, your boyfriend told you already that is attracted to you more than your looks. Looks really aren't everything and I do think that personality is worth more in the long run. And that is what he sees on you. You are a perfect girl for a long-term relationship. I think you are very lucky because your boyfriend cares more about the inside which means he is not a shallow person. Worldwide comments of the day. Story number two, I don't think she's telling the whole story. His jealous reaction surprised her so it's not the norm. So she and the other guy must have said things that were inappropriate. It sounds like second story OP is leaving out major details. If I was her BF I wouldn't trust her word completely if she's acting like that. I think something else was happening with her and the guy and now she's being confronted. They're always that one person that mentions mistreatment cause of an insecurity or trust issues, lol. It's so cringe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.